How's it going guys? I'm your host Bridget Shields and in this video I'll be taking a look at tenants freaking out because they got the landlord special. So let's see what this is because I have no idea. So if you're not familiar with what the landlord special is, it's basically just when a landlord paints everything white and I mean everything. Okay. Like painting hinges, hmm. I believe there is a door metal yeah. thing under here somewhere and we just discovered that these panels in our these french doors in our apartment also got the landlord special um, we thought it was like plywood or something until my daughter broke it yesterday nope it's just glass painted <laughs> right over many times oh my god how unnecessary is that that's crazy welcome to the landlord special where painting comes first and safety oh. comes second that's crazy what is the point what is the point of that oh my gosh it's not even aesthetically pleasing like yeah it's white and everything in the cabinet is gonna be white but what's the point i think that's kind of dangerous no look this lino is upside down i'm pretty sure this lino is upside down so the lino has been glued down and once again i could i could be wrong here but i feel like there's just a small chance that there's an air vent trapped somewhere underneath the lino because oh. every time the heat turns on the floor gets just a little bit bouncy i don't know oh my god that sounds like a disaster waiting to happen that's crazy oh my gosh i mean just covering an event like that it's such a mess oh my gosh she needs to tell her landlord about this once a week i have to get on my hands and knees and clean my bathroom but if you live in new york you know that no matter how much you clean it still never feels clean can i show you look at how not nice that is there's paint on the floor like what is this how yeah. am I supposed to clean this? I yeah. can't deal with this. But no amount of cleaning mm -hmm. makes a difference. And then randomly over here, like there's fuzz. Oh. Like where is that coming from? I hate that. By my door? Why? Yeah, that's super gross. We have like apartments like that in Toronto and there's just, there's something about it where you, you clean and you clean, but you can't do anything. And it's like these little cracks and these little crevices under the door in the bathroom. And it's like, uh, it's so, so difficult to do. I think the landlord put down too much salt. <laughs> oh my God, that's crazy. Wow, gotta kind of like love their, their uh, dedication there. <laughs> That's insane. Well, I wonder how many like bags of salt they went through just to like cover that whole area. That's like crazy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh my God. Wow, that's, I love that. That's called the ultimate landlord special. <laughs> Can you believe that? I mean, how much trouble would, have, would it have been to just like move the pasta? The fact that they have to paint over it is crazy. I was like, you know, just because things get painted white, that doesn't mean that they disappear. Everyone can see that there's like one tiny macaroni there. So there's a window on the outside of this building and we couldn't figure out where it was. And then we noticed that there's this little light here. And when I wave my hand in front of it, the light's not on my hand. We found the window. Oh, wow. That's really confusing. I wonder what's what's in front of it, that just like a glass panel or something, whatever is made the bathroom wall. That's really confusing. I don't like when there could have been or should have been a window in a particular room and it gets covered. I can't stand that. I think houses and, and bathrooms don't have enough windows anyway. So when you get rid of a window like that, it just makes me really upset. God. Beautiful, beautiful. Today on the landlord special, we have a garbage disposal, but this switch doesn't turn it on. Instead, this switch determines whether or not our microwave is on. But if we want to turn the microwave on, 
It turns the garbage oh. disposal on. That yeah. is really confusing, and I'm not sure how that happens. That's absolutely insane. I think there is nothing that is like more dangerous than turning a garbage disposal on and not knowing it. So the fact that it's, it's somehow like telepathically linked to the microwave is crazy. Oh my God, how, how does that happen? How does that happen? I love when I move into an apartment complex and it looks like minor scuffs on the base. Obvious water damage from leaky pipe. Sticky unclean drawers. Nail holes where you can't tell if someone just couldn't decide on a spot or stabbed a fork into the wall. Area where the carpet's been ripped up against the wall. All kinds of water damage next to the bathtub. And mold, 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 um, whatever that is. Discoloration, damage. So far that's all I see, but uh, this is my proof for move out that I did not cause these damages and you better not charge me for it because clearly you don't fix your shit regardless too relatable just the sticky stuff i mean i don't understand but somehow there are so many sticky surfaces in these kind of apartments and it's just like you cannot exactly find the cause of them and they will never get unsticky that's just kind of like the inherent way that they they seem to be built and landlords don't care i mean um these places are actually unlivable and they're a clean freak's worst nightmare because like i said you will just never ever get it clean no matter what you do Oh, whoa, that's so pretty. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. See, why cover it up with white when that's something that's really interesting? I don't know if that's actual marble, but it's certainly like pretty. Why, why cover that with white? I don't think it makes it better. I think it makes it bland and boring. I think people want a house with character. So landlords, please take notes. That makes sense. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. They all make sense. Just uh, the drawers that are not actually drawers, they don't open. They infuriate me to a certain extent that I cannot describe. It's just looking at that, it's just, it's kind of like pockets that are not actually pockets. I hate them. Okay, that's everything we have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.